These are ash shields. They're, they're known for their big horns like that. As they grow, they hook back. They, it's kind of a medium breed. They don't get really big. But, um, they're awful spunky all the time. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I've always loved brown Swiss. Yeah. Always just. They're I, beautiful. I, I get, grew up milking cows. I, I worked in, in farming my, my past 25 years. I've raised Holsteins and all the other breeds of cattle. I just think brown Swiss have that big mellow face. They're very majestic in their size. Just, a lot of people like Great Danes, some like Chihuahuas. I just. Yeah. It'd be hard for me to work oxen if it wasn't brown Swiss. They've been working, I mean, obviously at five days old, we, we got them and we start, they're in a yoke within several weeks after we, we get them all the broke. So like four weeks already yoke, a five inch yoke. Just training them, kind of doing any work, it's learning the command. And then move to a six inch yoke, and by six inch yoke, we're dragging a tire around the farm. They're again reinforcing commands. As they get older, you drag, we have bigger tires. We have tires at the house from Toyota to landfill size that weigh a thousand pounds. You keep jumping tires. As they grow, you change boat, uh, yoke. So they go five, six, seven, eight, nine. A year and a half old team at home is in a nine inch yoke right now. So they'll eventually get as big as these guys. That's a 12, 12 inch yoke there. He's gonna explain how we do the hook here. So we don't end up with a valley. If you go out that way and push this way, turn around, come back, you're gonna have a valley. Right. So by doing this, you make explain it. So the way I was taught, and I don't know if it's right or wrong, but it's the way I was taught, is we pace the field, find the middle, both ends. We make our first pass down the middle on the on the straight setting. But then we have to keep the off steer in the furrow coming back. And because that's the first one, it would be a dead furrow. I think that's right. Yeah. So then we want to move this clevy over to this hole. On my big plow, I just keep two clevies in it so I don't have to move it. But uh, we'll move this over here so that it kicks the plow out or in and buries the first furrow we made. Right. Ideally. So then everything's cut underneath, in theory. Okay, ready? I think so, it's So what I'm going to do is we pace the other end of the field, and that rock sticking up to the right of those ash ears is the middle. So I'm going to aim my ring. I want my ring to end up right on that rock in a straight line, which is not easy. <laughs> Him. Let's change what he did over it. Red, sit out. Red, sit out. Red. These teams here will pull half their weight all day long. Where a pulling team pulls those tremendous loads a couple times, six feet. So it's a different kind of mentality. The, those big steers can pull 10, 12, 15,000 pounds, six feet. They are trained like a, like a bodybuilder to do yeah. one thing once. Right. Very few pulling steers can go into the woods and uh, plow, disc, cultivate, Skid logs, drags log scoops, pull maple syrup. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
These are Durham shot horns, and the Durham came from Durham, Durham England. And um, they're an old breed, and there's still quite a few dairy farms, especially in New Hampshire and uh, Maine. And um, you can still find them. You gotta go up north to get them. Yeah. But they're a pretty team, and they're a very hardy team. They, they seem to be very easy to take care of. And, and you're talking over 2,000 a year to feed a pair of these. Oh, sure. You know, and, uh, and that's hunting around to find better buys and everything else. Do they like a particular kind of hay? The best for cattle is second cut. Okay. Second cut and the finer. Like this stuff here, the finer stuff is what they yeah. like. My grandfather, he's oh. been, yeah, he's been doing it for a little while. And it wasn't until recently that we actually started doing this whole plowing and uh, harrowing and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's mostly just, he's the one who got me into it, you know. I've been working with cattle with him since I was little. was the team I spent the most time with trying to get them work well for me because they were just full of vinegar all the time. They always want to go. Now is that their age? Is it age related? No, right now there'll be four, right now? There'll be four in July. And normally by by two, we usually have them three well flat out broke. These two happen to come from a guy who showed heifers. He only had six animals himself, but he raised them for show animals. Mm -hmm and he was hoping for a heifer, and he ended up with a pair of bull calves. So I got them, I got them when they were six days old, we bottle fed them, raised them up to where we are today, and yeah. it's just our pet, everybody has a pet. And they're eating grain and hay um, by, when we get them off the milk. Probably half a bale a day each, and um, we give them six pounds of grain. Good boy. Oh!